Embedding an image using HTML code might be a little confusing for some students, and so that's not the only option you have to embed your project. I'm going to edit this post and get rid of the HTML so that we don't have to see it or worry about it anymore. And then I'm going to show you option number two. So option number two for embedding images is to have the URL of the image. And so I just have a sample image right here that has a URL. It's from the opengraphicarts.com. And I'm going to copy that URL. With that URL copied, if you use the, the mountains icon in your visual editor here, it will ask you what is the URL of the image that you're using. And you can paste that. You can give it an alternate text, Jessica's project. And then you can choose how big it will display. So maybe you want it to display to 1000 by 750. Maybe you want it to be 500 by 375, etc. When you choose update, you'll see that the image is now embedded in the discussion. And you can click on it to resize it if you want to. If you like HTML, you can go back into the HTML. I like to use percentages for my widths. So I might make it 50% of the width of the page and get rid of the height so that no matter who's viewing this, whether it's on a tablet or a computer or a phone, it will scale to the size of the screen. You can see that if I was to make the screen smaller, the picture got smaller, etc. That's one option, but that requires you to be able to get your image on the internet, and you can do that in a number of ways. You can post it to social media and get a link that way. You can uh, post it on Flickr or something like that. In the next video, I'll show you how to post the image to Canvas itself and get a URL from Canvas.